Well, Bill, community leaders are demanding immediate corrective action within RPS to fix what they call systematic failures that are not setting up students for success. As low SOL scores loom over Richmond Public Schools, advocates declare an educational crisis in the city. Our schools have produced generations of poorly educated people in our city that don't place a premium on education. Several community groups joined forces on Wednesday, concerned about poor performance on this past year's standardized test. Specifically, they point to achievement gaps for low-income minority children. In 2021-2022, data shows 85% of white students passed reading and 77% passed math. But for black students, pass rates sat at 45% in reading and 31% in math. For Hispanic students, it's 38% in reading and 36% in math. The system has failed them. Meanwhile, the district's overall graduation rate was 80% this past year. That means that we're graduating a large number of students that can't read, write, or perform rudimentary math. Advocates say this pattern leads to cycles of poverty and crime. Without education, we are looking at one of the most grimmest futures for our youth. That we can imagine. So they have some call to action items for RPS. They want creative intervention plans for schools, audits of funds, changes to implementation of the curriculum, and accountability from what they call ineffective leadership. Right now we have a system where nobody's been held accountable. And when nobody's been held accountable, we have the blame game. While Superintendent Jason Camrys declined to respond, he has recently defended the current curriculum and he highlights SOL data showing score declines by subgroup like black and low income students were less than the state average in almost every subject. RPS students also saw improvement in Virginia growth assessments between fall 2021 and spring 2022. They're up 12 points in reading and up 27 points in math. It is a well documented, well researched fact that putting rigorous material in front of children is one of the best levers towards closing gaps in achievement by race, economic background, and ability status. Now, in response to today's press conference, school board chair Dr. Shonda Harris Muhammad says district accountability is the job of the board and not a quote personalized fairy tale. She says that the board does plan to hold the district accountable with these four steps description of tasks, timeline of completion, monitoring those tasks and then application of smart goals.